Welcome back to Elden Ring. Let's explore more of this little island. I'm going to start by going around here and just exploring this side of the wall. And then go up here to this, what looks like a village or maybe a bunch of ruins or something. Oh, hey, I think that's a cave right there. That might be a cave too. Ah, so many things. Don't get distracted. One thing at a time. Squeakers with glowing eyes. Well, they're making odd noises beyond just the squeaking. Squeaking's not odd. It's cute, but they're also making kind of demonic grunting noises. I don't know. They're cute, though. Oh, God. I guess I got to attack them. I'm sorry. Yellow ember. An ember taken from the eye socket of a corpse. A sign that the deceased suffered from the flame of frenzy. This grape has ripened and burst. Liar head. Try night, and then try door. So that's probably a lie, but I'm intrigued now that I know that things change at night. After the knight's cavalry. I wonder. Like, maybe that person thought it was a lie because they didn't realize it needed to be nighttime or something, you know? There's <laughs> someone lying about this, too. Okay, I gotta try it. Yeah, let's go make it nighttime. Oh, they are lying. Eye of Yellow. That's new. A shrub fruit bursting with ripened pulp. Grown in lands afflicted by frenzy, it's used for its pain relieving properties, though it's also known to be a dangerous intoxicant. Rat Ahead. just gotta pick the row of fruit just they're so glowy you know even though I have like 50 at this point probably yeah they're just hiding in the bushes The dung beetle down there. That's where it looks like there's a cave on the map. Although it doesn't 
look like... Well, maybe there's a cave down there in that lower level. <laughs> Turning around at an edge with torrent is always so scary. Grace ahead. Ah, oh, so this is a village, yeah. We've arrived. I hear more squeakers. Kalu Baptismal Church. noises. The Flame of Frenzy. Incantation originating from the maddening three fingers causes the yellow flame of frenzy to burst forth from the caster's eyes. The Flame of Frenzy deals damage and causes buildup of madness. It also causes buildup of madness in the caster and is only effective against Tarnished. Sacred Tear. What is that? Improve Sacred Flask's potency. Oh, my first one! Well, next time I get to a side of grace, I'll make sure to forget about it and never use it. Birds. Oh, hold on. We have a message up here. Praise the jumping, but still no Elden Ring. Ailing village. Oh, it's so creepy the way they're just like frozen. Frozen in like a pose of anguish. Shield ahead. In that building? Oh, yeah. I gotta go up with that.
Hey, I got a message appraised. I wonder which one. The Elden Ring or the skeleton one. It's a sight of grace. I don't want to rest there just yet because I don't want the enemies to respawn. Although I think this might be like everything to the village. Just that shield, I guess? There doesn't seem to be any other open doors. Cramped area ahead. True. Yeah, I think it's just the tier and the shield. Let's increase amount replenished by flasks. And let's take a look at that shield that we got. I can use it, actually. Um. Hmm. It's actually just... It's strictly worse than the shield I'm currently using. <laughs> uh, other than being very slightly lighter. It has worse guard boost, worse magic protections, same physical. It does have a flame on it, though. And flames are pretty cool. A tall, medium-sized wooden shield, light for its size and easy to handle, carried by soldiers of the village that's afflicted by frenzy. The yellow flame is the symbol of the affliction, serving as a warning to those who might approach the village. I'm gonna go back to the old shield. I don't know, flame's a little bit too edgy for me. I was surprised again. Why is it always Erd Tree? Okay, I'm not going to try to turn around. I'm just going to get rid of Torrent for a second and then move backwards. <laughs> oh, another side of Grace right below me. Let's go get it. I wanted to go down there anyway next. This height will probably kill me though. Let's just teleport back here. Oh, they're all drinking from the lake. Or pond, rather. Cute. Please don't aggro to me. I don't want to have to kill you. going on over here? Wait, what's killing them? Oh. Uh, well, I might, might be next, so... I think I better get out of here. Are you gonna shoot me? Please don't shoot me. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's an enemy? I thought it was something I could pick. Um. How come I can select it if I can't actually hit it? Sure, 
really you don't have to hit it with melee, right? Is it just a weird angle? Like, it's just hitting the ground? Is that the problem? Can you stop spewing? Ah, let's find another one. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, you can't select them as an enemy until they open up. How many souls did that give me? Oh, I'm poisoned. Um. Wait, do I actually have an anti-poison? I didn't really think this far. Uh... Do I need to craft something? Ah, oh, yeah, neutralizing bolus. Oh. Just a dog and some little zombie, I guess. I guess the dog's owner. The owner isn't even coming after me. Oh, now they are. They say meow. Damn. Damn, doggy. to parry. There we go. It's the only one you'll see for hours. You better enjoy it. I think I'm still in combat because I can't craft. Oh, is it because of the flowers? Ah, we're good now. Uh, yeah, so I can't craft in combat, so I should probably make some of these just to have them. And I'm not using the down slot on the pouch, so let's replace that with the bolluses. Right. Nice little poison place. Hmm. Oh, this looks interesting. Some ruins. And a forest. Let's go check that out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello. Beautiful. Forest lookout tower. Maybe there's one of those, um, telescopes here. shooting. 
I wonder if they'll come back though. I mean, that was just a basic mob. So they probably will just respawn. Hand Ballista. Not gonna use that, but that looks really cool. Unconventional ballistic device modeled on a weapon used to besiege castles. Only capable of firing great bolts. Perfect for reckless acts such as storming a castle or facing an entire army alone. <laughs> I want to see what the thing looks like in my hand. Oh yeah, that is huge! I figured it must be because it says it only uses great bolts. Oh, I did not mean to do that. God, look at that thing. <laughs> oh, and that reload animation. Yeah, <sighs> you'd feel the weight of it. This time without dying. Yeah. I want to see what that message said, but the enemies are too close. Keep moving, old codger. Hmm? Is there someone up there? Ah, I can't stop to see. Oh, what is that? Why is it always old codger? Beautiful. Old codger. <laughs> what? I don't get this reference. What is this? Oh, I guess that's old codger. <gasps> Where are you going? Thanks, old codger. Praise the laggardly sort. Indeed. What a nice fellow. I did it. Cave. Try fingers, butthole. Thanks. That's, that's your thought as you stare out at this view. Look at the water. Look at these ruins. Ah. Uh, finger butthole. Praise the old codger. Earthpore Cave. Trap ahead. Hmm. Decoy ahead. Okay. I don't think they're lying. Be wary of a rat. It's not moving. Oh! There's nothing wrong with the chest. Hey!
I was so focused on the chest. I, I, would, I was thinking the messages were talking about the chest. I didn't think that the ground would fall away. <laughs> Regret. Here, try light. Try luring out. I don't see an enemy. Try light, and then try target lock. Well, thank you. I'm trying to target lock. There's nothing to target lock. Maybe just a general gameplay tip. Oh, we're back up here. Pickled turtleneck. That is gross. Three of them. Temporarily boosts stamina recovery. That is so disgusting. Turtleneck meat pickled in a bitter medicinal solution. <laughs> the nutrients churn through the body, practically boiling out endless power. Mmm. So that way it goes back up. What's further down? Crunchy. Crunchy bones. Strong foe ahead. Boss ahead. Ooh. <laughs> Fortnite. <laughs> That's a message so powerful you could only write it with the power of the pickled turtleneck running through your veins. Ah, bug. Monster ahead, therefore seek friend. Oh, I hear it breathing. Is this the same as the other one? This one's not mimicking itself, though. Also, this one I can't cheese. Torrent? No torrent. Hmm. Rune bear. Jesus. This is the same as the other one. Just, I can't cheese it. would I defeat that? Like, what even is a good tactic? Let's try Rock Blaster. That is not very effective for my entire FP bar. I'm gonna try the spinny thing. See if I can make the bear bleed. That did a lot of damage. I mean, damage points. 
Like, obviously their health bar is still about the biggest thing in the world, but that actually might be worth it. Okay, I made it bleed finally. Okay, that's actually really good. Oh, I almost had it. I really cannot believe how good that is. Got it! Spell Drake Talisman. Ooh, hold on, this is gonna be a good one. If only I had a boss. Butthole. This <laughs> is. I'm gonna upvote it anyway. <laughs> Trina's lily. Grass? <laughs> yes. Let's see what this one says. First off, well done. Well, thank you. God, I love this weapon. Spinning attack! So powerful! Hmm. I love this game. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the talisman. Boosts magical damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Earth Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragons becomes symbolic of all manner of protections. Oh, I think we read that description before for another talisman or something. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So hope you've enjoyed so far. And when we return, we're going to go check out this.